Hey guys, Miles from Nexus Core here. I'm bringing you my Nova Grappler uh, premium deck profile. So, we'll start. The starter is tap the hyper. It's just one road upon you draw. Um, typically, you don't run starters that... You don't run forerunners because they're just going to get sniped away. Um, and this is Nova Grappler, so you actually really need soul, and drawing helps you a lot. Uh, and also I just, like, there are three different kinds that all do the same thing. Tap the Hyper is my favorite. It's just like a hero hacker reference. Um, grade three is we run four Zubat Battle or Victor. Uh, when you stride over it, counterblast one, draw a card. Ca uh, call, um, call one card from your hand to rear guard. You must call. And then choose a unit, and until end of turn, it gets once per turn. When it attacks, restand one of your other rear guards. So, um, you can give it to your vanguard, you can give it to another rear guard, uh, whatever the situation calls for. Um, I think this deck has a lot of versatility in, like, the plays it can make. Um, m mostly based on wh who you stride into. It kind of feels like there's a different play for each one. Uh, and then that's other skills at the end of your turn. If the number of face-up cards in your damage zone is one or less, you can counter-charge one. And if the number of cards in your soul is one or less, you can soul-charge one. If you both counter-charged and soul-charged, you get to draw. So if you exhaust your entire soul, you get a little bit back, and then you get to... Uh, and you, if you exhaust all your resources, sorry. You get a little bit back, and then you get to draw a card. So that's neat. It's kind of your main ride target. Um, then we run three... Beast DD Azure Dragon. Uh, its skill is when it's placed on Vanguard, you can counterblast one and draw. Um, then you call a card from hand to rear, and it has to attack your opponent's Vanguard. If the attack didn't hit, you get to restand that card. And then on attack, counterblast one, restand a rear guard. So it's nice because if you go first, you can use this card and still do things. Um, it also gives you an Excel gift, which just makes this deck better. Um, like, which just makes, you know, you hit higher numbers. Um, so that's, that's nice. Uh, but if you don't see it, it's not a big deal. Um, you mainly, you mainly want to see Victor. Uh, and then I run two Ultra Beast Deity Illuminal Dragon. Um, I only keep it at two because it's actually more of a rear guard card in this case. Um... Its skill is once per turn on Vanguard at the end of the battle that your rear guard's attack didn't hit. You counterblast one and stand that unit. It gets 10k and then it must attack your opponent's Vanguard. Um, that's okay. I just like to have more control over the situation. Like I feel like the Azure Dragon can do that. Um, every stride in the deck can do that. Victor's stride skill can do like can give me that. So. I'm not a fan of just forcing it immediately to attack the Vanguard. I don't even... You, you can't even boost. So, um... Uh, and then its other skill just warrants it being a rear guard more. Um, when your other... On Vanguard or rear guard once per turn. When your other unit's attack hits, this unit gains 15k. So it's made, it just makes it 27 or like 32 if it's on an Excel 2 marker. Um, so when you're restanding it, it just has more power. Um... Because that's just an immediate, like, 15k, right? 15, 20k right there. Uh, and it retains that for the entire battle. So the sooner it gets that, the better. Because you can just keep restanding it for a higher number and then beating down your opponent. Um, also, it specifies if a unit's attack hits. That means that your unit doesn't need to hit a vanguard. You can just poke a rear, and if it hits, then you get the power. So it's nice. Uh, easy to use. I'm a fan. Um, all right. Grade twos. I run four Extreme Battler Ninjad. This is kind of like the, I guess, MVP of the deck. Um, it's once per turn, GB1, Counterblast 1. When it attacks, you can pay the cost. Uh, only if you have a Victor with Van uh, a Vanguard with Victor in its card name. Um, that's another reason why you want to ride Victor. Uh, if you pay the cost, choose a rear guard and stand it. And that unit and this unit get 2k uh, until end of turn for each face-up card in your G zone. So if you have six, there you go. That's 12k to both. Um, it doesn't need to be boosted, so you can just swing for 9 and then boost it up to a, a number where it can actually hit. Also, because of the um, new or not so new anymore rule change for once per turn, this card is even better. Because you don't need to use its skill the moment you attack. 
Um, you can play around with it for a bit. Uh, then we run three extreme battler Golshachi. Uh, if you have a Victor Vanguard, um, this unit gets continuous and resist. It gets uh, resist, and once per turn, counterboss one when it attacks, um, you can pick a rearguard and restand it. Then also rush. Uh, once per turn, GB two when it stands due to the effect, which is rush, it gains seven k. Um, it's all right. Uh, I mainly just use it as like um, another restander. Uh, or another something else to just restam my cards, but typically you just want to go into Ninjad. Like, it's not a bad card, but Ninjad's ideal. Also, um, this isn't GB restricted to use its restand scale, so you can use it to, when you ride to grade three, as long as it's a Victor Vanguard. And also, resist just gives it some nice resistance. <sighs> uh, this is a new boy, Kick Kick Typhoon. Um, so, a Vanguard or Rearguard, when it's placed. Uh, when it's placed, if it's on a vanguard circle or an additional rearguard circle, meaning a gift, it gains 5k. So that makes it 14. So if you can't boost, then... Uh, well, if it's on Excel 2, that makes it 19. It's just nice for hitting, um, for, like, poking. But its other skill is once per turn when it attacks. If all of the rearguards in your front row have rearguards on them... Sorry, if all the rearguard circles are occupied, uh, counter bless one and stand one of your rearguards. So, like... I actually really like it, because if I don't see Golshachi, I can see this card, and if I don't have an Excel marker, um, which typically you don't, it's kind of just an added bonus, um, then this card is really easy to pull off, because you just need to have one other rear guard in your front row. It's like, it, it, it is a really easy restand, um, and it just adds more versatility to the deck, uh, just more cards that can restand stuff. Um, now we got two magical performers, uh, rush once per turn, it gains 5k for each face-up uh, card in your G-Zone. So this can hit very big numbers. Um, sometimes what I'll do is like I'll stride on Victor uh, with favorite champ, I think it's called, yeah. And um, you can just like... You restand this once. Uh, you can give the skill. You give the skill to itself because Victor's skill is going to restand your entire field anyway. And then you just do everything with Victor. You have Ninjad. You swing with this. You swing with Ninjad. Don't use its skill. Swing with this um, with Performer. You use the new Stride skill to restand Ninjad. Swing with Ninjad once more, um, and then you restand this for one final attack. And it just creates huge numbers. Uh, and well, it's, it's, it's a huge number already, but what matters most is that it's a huge number that's hitting like two to four times. Um, so yeah, that will break down your opponent's hand on to grade ones run for riser custom, uh, for obvious reasons, it restands, um, when it's in the same column as a unit restand, when a, when a unit restands, uh, sorry. When a rear guard in the same column as this unit stands, you can stand this unit. Unfortunately, it's once per turn, so if you want to get it off, like, to the most benefit, you sort of have to plan around what you're going to be doing for the entire turn. Um, however, you're typically going to want to restand it ASAP because this main, one of the main stride units in this deck is, um, one of the main units in this deck is buster is universe ace bustard and you need to get those plus two drives so if you just stand one card with your stride skill then and this card's behind it then you immediately get that plus two drive checks so good card otherwise it's just put a card from your hand into the soul and this unit can attack even if on your first turn but it gets drive minus one so you don't actually want to use that um now we run one of my favorite cards screaming and dancing announcer shout this is the v version um so its skill is act you rest it your opponent you and your opponent reveal the top card whichever grade is high if you're sorry if you revealed the highest if bleh, whoever revealed the highest grade adds that card to their hand whoever revealed the lowest grade adds that card to their soul and if they're equal both players add the card to hand so because again this deck needs a lot of soul and it also needs a lot of um hand cards to work with regardless of what happens it's great you could also just deck you can also just like reverse deck then your opponent's triggers out of their deck i did that plenty of times with my friend yesterday and it was a great time he barely could trigger on me um 
and it's also just a great card to have like early game because you can just spend early game spamming it before you really need to do any serious plays and then you kind of don't need it later in the game because you're going to be drive checking so much that you don't actually want it deck out uh then we have two extreme battler jarrowhawk jarrowhawk uh, it's GB1 on rearguard. You kind of bust one and put into the soul at the end of the battle that it boosted a rearguard. If you have a vanguard victor, um, I mean a victor vanguard, uh, you could pay the cost. If you do, you draw, stand the boosted unit, and it gets 2k. So this just makes Magical Performer even crazier. Um, also, like, this skill isn't once per turn. Um, so you can actually keep using it. Uh, I might put it up a 3 of, but I also don't want to drop Shout or Riser Custom to 3. Um, and this card isn't, like, as necessary as the other one, so. Uh, if you think I should do it, let me know how it works for you. Then I just run 2 Aura Shade, it's the Stride Fodder. Um, mainly just so I can search out Victor and, like, guarantee that I see it, because, again, Victor's kind of the ideal ride. Uh, a lot of skills can't go off if you don't have that Victor heart, so... You want to have some search for that. All right, triggers. Uh, we run four of the Magna Magnagos 2502. It's the new, like, premium um, crit. Just GB1 when your Vanguard attacks. You add it to soul. Drawn. Your Vanguard gains 10k. Uh, it adds to soul. It gives you more draw power. And it makes your Vanguard stronger especially if your vanguard's gonna be restanding you want it to have more power uh and then i run two sar blau clans um it's a uh, act you counter blast one and add it to the soul pick two cards in total from your from your circle and damage zone and turn them face up so it's anti-lock and it can counter charge uh so it's six crit because you just don't need that many and you want to run draws you run four wall boy it's the heal um you run four Twin Blader for the PG, and then you run two three minutes because it's three minutes and it's also a draw trigger. Um, all right, G Zone. Uh, and then obviously, if I haven't made it clear, you only run Excel two. Um, Excel one just isn't needed for this deck. The draw is great. The five K um, is good enough. Like your your cards are going to be restanding for high enough numbers anyway. It's not a big deal. Uh, so that. All right. We, we run one Xeroth Dragon of Destroy Star Stark. Um, it's the ultimate stride. Uh, you're hardly going to go into this. I don't see it too. I don't really, I, I typically win before I, um, need to go into this. Like you, you would mostly win by first or second stride, but regardless, it's a good card. Uh, it's on stride counter blast two. Um, it loses, uh, two drive checks and it doesn't rest when it attacks and it make, can make up to three attacks so it's just you know 36 36 36 and you get to do one drive check each um i think it's like that's decent it's pretty good i mean if your opponent can guard it then not much is lost uh well that's right ultimate stride a lot is lost um but regardless, like, it's just nice to have. It can be added in without having to make any massive changes to the G-Zone. I run one of the GB-8, Fang Dragon King Fist Dragger. Uh, it's GB-8, Counter Blast 1. When it attacks a Vanguard, you can pay the cost. If you do, you stand all of your rear guards, and until end of turn, they get... When this unit rests, stand this unit once per turn. And this unit gets 5k until the end of that battle for each of your rear guards. So if you have 5 rear guards, that's plus 25k. Um... And basically what it means is that whenever, or when one of your rear guards is rested, you, once per turn, you restand it. So basically it just allows everything to attack and be boosted again. Um, it just kind of like, it's it's a good finisher if you actually see it, if you need to go into it. But here's your real um, game ender, uh, favorite champ, Victor. It skills GB2, you counter bust two, and pick a card from your, one card from your hand and discard. I can't stress enough, it's so good. Uh, at the end of the battle that it attacked, um, 
you can pay the cost. If you do, you choose up to the same number of rear guards as the number of face-up cards in your G-Zone, and you stand them. If you stood three or more, um, you get to choose three cards from your hand, discard them, and if you discarded three cards, you countercharge one, stand this unit, and it gets drive minus two. So, if you have five units in your G-Zone, you can just restand your entire field and attack with it again. That's what I was talking about earlier with the Magical Performer play. You can just keep hammering because at that moment magical performer triggers um you get like probably 20 25k on it so that's like a 29 to 34 plus whatever triggers you see and then the boost and you can just restand it like two or three more times uh, or no sorry you restand a total of like three or four um so yeah good card solid finisher uh it's what you want to go into when you have the field for it, and you want to push for game. Here's your first stride, uh, and also your potential finisher. Universe Ace Bustard. This is the new one from Premium. Um, so when your rearguard attacks, you Soul Blast 1 and flip a card in your G-Zone face up. This unit gains one drive check until end of turn. Um, and, then at the, and then its other skill is at the end of the battle it attacked. If its drive is 5 or more, you discard 3 cards, stand this unit, and it gets drive minus 5. Um... So I would recommend trying to go for like more than two restands when you use this card, just so you can guarantee that you don't lose that. It's just so you can guarantee that it still has one drive check just to keep your opponent on their toesies. But um, it's just a solid card. It like, it gets you so much hand and so much resource to work with later. Um, and you, you know, you can just, you can use it twice. That's nice. Or however many times you're running the card. Um, uh, fun, fun plays with, like, your rear guards, uh, because all you have to do is, like, you got, let's just say, you got two rear guards, right, and one is, like, ninja ad or something, and then you have, uh, riser custom back here, so it's, like, you'll go, okay, swing, oh, and then you stride, and you give the stride skill to your vanguard, obviously, you go swing with this card, uh, swing with ninja ad, no skill, swing with vanguard, um, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. You use Ninjad's skill because you want to restand this. Okay. Now you have one plus one drive. Then you swing with Vanguard, use its skill, use Stride skill, restand this card. Then you restand Riser Custom. So last two, you gain three more drives. That's six drive checks. So you get six right there. And again, if you had a Riser Custom on this one, that's uh, seven drive checks right there. So, uh, and then you restand with still two drive checks. That's pretty good. Uh, so I'm a fan of this card. It makes for a great first stride, and it just really hurts your opponent. Uh, now we also run to Winning Champ Victor. Um, this is another card that you can use if the situation calls for it. Uh, I'm a fan of it. Um, it's Soul Blast 1 and choose a face-down card from your G-Zone and turn it face up. When your rear guard stands, you can pay the cost. If you do, that unit and this unit gain 5k. So really, it just powers up your units um when they restand uh and then this card swings for a big number on its own but um the biggest thing is that it does accelerate the g like the face-up cards in your g-zone for um favorite champ so uh yeah you want to like if you need to you want to use this card but also buster does that too um this is just an alternate uh you know and, and this is just an alternative uh, then it's other skills GB3 at the end of the battle that it attacked. Um, you can draw a card and then pick your opponent's rear guard with the lowest power and retire it. So there's just a little bit of control. Not that that'll really matter, but hey, you know, better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Uh, then I run to Medio Kaiser Victor. Um, this is really just flip fodder. You typically don't use it, but um, if you even want to then go ahead it's you pick itself and you know you persona flip uh and until under turn it gets red text when its attack hits sorry when this yeah when this unit's attack hits a vanguard you pick one of your rear guards and stand it and it gets 5k and gb3 when you're when this unit attacks a vanguard pick a rear guard and stand it and it gets 5k so basically if you're at gb3 when it's on attack you get to restand two cards um it's it actually makes for a good first stride but like this is premium, so you need to go bigger. It, it really is just flip fodder. Uh, then you run one progenitor, Dragon of Horizon Limit, Origorem. Um, it's uh, 
So you know what progenitors are. If they're face up in Gen, you can if they're face up in Gen, you can stride for free whenever you or for the rest of the game. Um, but they can't be flipped by uh, abilities. So you yeah you have to stride into this, and it's um it's same with ultimate stride. You have to discard the same card as your vanguard. Uh, reason why you want to see Victor because it has the most. It's the it's the only maxed out grade three in the deck, but it's on attack. You counter bust one and increase or decrease the power of all of your opponent's units to zero until end of turn. So like with all of your restanding units, like r popping off with more power um, and your Vanguard's power and your opponent being stuck at zero, unless they see a trigger um, that actually makes for a pretty destructive first turn stride. Uh, and it's just in the deck because, like, you can fit it in, you really just need Bustard and Favorite Champ, and then everything else is kind of up to you. Um, so, like, I just thought, I was like, hey, Free Striding's cool, I'll put it in there. Then you have your G-Guardians, we've got Medio Kaiser Gundreed, it's GB1, choose a G-Guardian from your Jusen and turn it face up when you guard with it. Um, until end of turn... Uh, your vanguard gains the skill where at the end of the battle that that unit was attacked if the attack didn't hit you counter charge one so like if you exhausted all of your counter blasts which is quite realistic for this deck um you can just g guard this next turn whatever and then if you guard every attack that comes that far you can just like counter i counter charged four or five uh thanks to this card so good card please run it uh, then I run one Medio Kaiser Junior. Um, when it's placed on Guardian Circle, if you do not have any face up cards in your damage zone, counter charge two and it gains 5k shield. And if you have no cards in your soul, soul charge two and it gains 5k shield. It just gets you back resources. Um, and then I run two Medio Kaiser Dogon Titan. When you guard with it, if you if the number of your rear guards is less than your opponents, you gain 10k shield. And in G zone, you can Soul Blast one and turn this unit face down. Choose a card from your uh, on a circle. Um, or in your damage zone and turn it face up. So it's either counter charge or unlock. Um, and it can also just be flipped up with, it can be used as flip fodder for your, uh, Bustard or, um, what is it called? You can use it as flip fodder for Bustard or any of your cards that flip. Um, and then you can just next turn, turn it back face down and counter charge. Then I run one dismal, um, because, uh, I just didn't really think there was a need for any other Nova Grappler um, G Guardian and Dismal. You know, when you guard with it, it basically gives like uh, uh, it has resist on its own, but that doesn't really matter. Wait, no, now it does uh, because of the Magalanica Progenitor. There we go. So yeah, um, it's just a nice card to protect your unit if you need to. I barely go into it. You typically do win by first or second stride, so like you might not even G-Guard once in a game. Um, but regardless, that's the deck. Thank you for watching. Um, let me know if there's any changes you want to see or if you have a build that's been working out for you. I would love to try it out. Um, but I'm pretty dead set on this build. It's working really well for me. It might be one of my favorite premium decks. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. This is Miles from Nexus Core signing off.